There are a lot of new updates coming to Hypixel Skyblock and today we're gonna see how to actually prepare for them and let's start this off with but what not to do before the new updates. And one of the first things is foraging. Currently foraging can take a while to level up and many players don't have a high skill level but this might be changing in a short while. Of course, if you're a very low foraging level, maybe you will be required to have an X level to access some areas. Currently for myself, I'm level 31 and I'll stick to that until the new update. We can possibly expect to see new foraging tools, but of course currently the best way to be prepared for a foraging update is having a tree capitator and of course an ocelot pet. Or you do have a little bit more expensive which is the monkey pet and 19 million for legendary. But of course as mentioned it might not be these tools that are going to be the best, but for now these are the best ones so you might as well have it because they're not that expensive. Next up, of course, we have the Skyblock levels. This will be coming in two parts to Skyblock. And there are many ways to level up your Skyblock level. Some of them don't even need you to do anything if you have been playing for a while. For example, having your collections to the max, higher skill levels, completing slayers, killing variety of mobs for bestiary, fairy souls, dungeons, slayers, and pretty much everything you have been grinding. With that, I have actually gotten my Skyblock level to 138. But apparently you can get up to 20 skyblock levels by filling up your museum. So this is a good time to go ahead and purchase a variety of items to add into the museum. And keep in mind they don't have to be expensive. You have lots of cheap armor, weapons and tools to choose from. Skyblock levels will be showing in the chat before your name and in the tab list which is pretty interesting and this can help you understand how far the player has progressed. If you're looking for instance new clan member or somebody to do dungeons with, you can tell by their level. Finally, we are also able to see that new items are coming to the bit shop. So far we know from the previous alpha server that there is black and white ties, but hopefully we will be seeing more items coming. So of course, I would recommend holding onto your bits and not spending them quite yet. This is because when the items get released, they're typically more expensive, especially if they require more bits than usually. So this is the time to AFK and I think you'll enjoy this video next where I show how to get rich by being AFK.